Okay, it's the uh, alloy disc lock, non-pro. So, reason I'm lying down like this is because uh, this is a way more comfortable way for me to pick. Here's the key. Works going to the left. And works going to the right. I'll just turn all the discs all the way to the right. We're ready to pick. Feels good. Four from the bottom feels good. Five feels good. Six feels good. Seven is always zero cut. So we ignore it. Feels good. That feels good. Here's the last one. There we go. How was that? Yeah, about three minutes. Okay. Show you that it's picked. Take the pick out. Okay. Let's put that over here somewhere. That comes the tricky part. Turning the camera and keeping the lock in the frame. Okay. Let's try to get in a better position. And set focus to auto. There we go. Yeah, looks good there. Sorry again, I, I couldn't just set this thing on a uh, table and uh, pick it. I just couldn't get my hands at the right angles to uh, make uh, make the pick move up and down the stack, you know, fluidly. You know. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that's Google answering me a, a question that I didn't ask. Okay, there's that little ring off. Only sprung a little bit far. 
right. So here's the lock. Put this in here and push from the top. That little ring off there. There we go. There we go. Okay. One ball bearing stapless. Here's the uh, sidebar stuff. All right. Let's get to cutting this thing. Here's the big thick spacer on top. Holds the ball bearings. There we go. Disc one. The spacer. Let me move that. Move this over here. This will be my spacer pile. There's two. Three. Four. Five. And when I was picking the lock, I was counting from the uh, bottom up. There's six. So, luckily, I have uh, numbers printed. Uh, upside down so you can kind of see what they would have been if I uh, described them while I was picking. That's a spacer number seven. What did I do there? That's what happened. I was talking instead of paying attention. There's eight. Nine. No, nope, that's a spacer. Did it again. Nine. Spacer. Here's ten. Last spacer, and finally, eleven. Okay, two tensioning, or what do you call it, return bars, there and there, let's see, oh yeah, there's also this, okay, so, let's get close-ups of everything, this is the actual uh, core, you know, the little, let's see if autofocus can man, okay, Sorry, just trying to get focus to focus. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do closest focus. There we go. There's that. There's inside of here. very carefully and this is the utmost importance I don't press one of several buttons that stops the camera oh oh I didn't stop it I didn't stop it I didn't stop it I only took a screenshot for some reason okay okay we're good So, some more reasonable focus level, maybe this, okay. So, 
here's the uh, here's the sidebar and the top disc and some of the core retention stuff. Uh, these two pieces uh, interact with a spring to push the sidebar out. Uh, that's the uh, top disc that uh, holds the two ball bearings, and those are the little core retention clip and a uh, little washer thing. Uh, these two return bars are here along the aforementioned ball bearings and the uh, spinner. Yep. And then pile spacers. And then finally, these are, let me get focus a little bit closer. There we go, that's as close as it goes. Try to light with my headlamp. Here we go. Here's the discs in all the glory. So there's uh, what I referred to as number seven. It's number four from the top. That's a profile disc. It's always, uh, it's gonna tension the core. It's gonna um, interact directly with the uh, return bars. And uh, it's always a, a zero cut, of course. Uh, there's number five, again from the top, using conventional conventional counting system. Okay, sorry about the camera shake. My hands are shaky. Uh, five, there's number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, 